Hello everybody, and welcome back to Genoa's Building Challenge, the series where I click a button, get a random prompt, and I build it. And all the prompts are not made by me, they are made by my sister, and I have no clue what any of them are before I get them. So it's just as much of a surprise to me as it is to you. Um, let's go ahead and jump straight in with a prompt. There it is. Abstract House. Alright. I think I might have an idea for this, so let's go ahead and uh, look for a location, and I will be right back once the location is found. Okay, I am back. I think I'm going to clear out some of these trees and build the house right here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get right into the building, so enjoy the little series of clips looking at the progress of the house and the music, and I will talk to you guys once it is finished. Okay, everybody, the build is finally done. Um, I This recording is taking place on the day that I am uploading it on Saturday. Um, it took quite a while to get this one done. Um, surprisingly, a lot longer than the dragon and that stuff over there. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, in my opinion, I think it's definitely the best build that I've made um, so far, maybe. I don't know. And it's also probably the best house I have ever built in Minecraft. So just as a quick little reminder, um, I'm supposed to build an abstract house. And I had to do some research to kind of figure out what an abstract house, you know, looked like. And I couldn't really find much. The only thing I could find when I looked up abstract house was modern houses. So I looked up that, and then I looked up abstract art and kind of combine the two. I saw the abstract art was a lot of colors and shapes and abstract houses were apparently just modern houses. So, um, I combined the two and here's what it looks like. Um, got a little piece of kind of, I guess, modern art out front. It kind of looks a bit too big and I think the colors are a bit off for it, but I think it looks all right. And then we got a little road here and had to do some terraforming and stuff and I got bushes all around. That way it doesn't look just open and empty and we also have bushes all the way around here and some more landscaping um, and yeah I had to raise up the whole mountain and everything like that and then we have the grass I used moss blocks and grass to kind of make the little um, mowing strip look and one of the things I started trying to get ambitious about was under the road here I was thinking of building like a whole sewer tunnel under here and make it look like it was kind of broken and stuff, like the ground just got raised. But I kind of decided against that because that wasn't the actual task for the build. But uh, this is what the outside of the house looks like. Um, I think there probably is some more stuff that I could have done to it to make it look a bit more detailed and stuff. But um, in the end, I think it turned out looking pretty good. I'm pretty proud of it. 
Um, but what I'm really proud of is the interior. Um, I've never really been the greatest at doing good interiors, but I think I did a pretty good job this time. And also for the biggest window in the house, I did like some sort of glass design. I tried to make it look somewhat abstract, but I just used colors and some shapes to kind of do that. Um, this is kind of a hard task for me because I'm not great with art terms. So just getting the the uh, task abstract house just kind of threw me off a bit. But yeah, um, so that's the exterior. And we'll move on to the interior here. We have a little entrance room. Um, nice little entryway carpet, some coat hangers, um, some more coat hangers and little armor stands to put other coats or something on. Um, the doorway here, I kind of like how it turned out, and the only reason why I did it like this is because there's, you know, the walls are thick, so there's different colors throughout, so I wanted to kind of hide that. Um, but yeah, we got little lights here in the, in or in the, uh, doorways, and just kind of go on through to the living room, and we have a little TV here, some candles. It was really dark over here, so like a, a last minute decision, I, um, put, like, lights right here, that way they would shine through and kind of light up the room over here a bit, because it was pretty dark, and we have the lights that are going on throughout the house, um, chains going down to an end rod, um, I think they look pretty cool and kind of modernish, and then we have a little sitting couch out here to just admire the ugly modern art, um, there was a nice view out into the world here, but then I decided to put that there, so, yeah, and we have a little bit of a smaller doorway leading into here, where we have, like, a little shelf space with some decorations and towels they're actually banners but they're towels because this is the little dressing room area for the pool room um this was going to be originally a garage that kind of um i guess opened up here on that wall right there and then went down underground to an underground garage but i just kind of decided against that too because that was just way more work than i needed to be doing for this build and didn't really line up with the build too much so we have an indoor pool and I think the pool turned out pretty nice. I like how all the windows allow the light to come in, and then we have these lights for when it turns nighttime. And the pool's pretty deep. I did a leveling thing, kind of like how, you know, real pools do it. And then a little hot tub type thing right here at the end of the pool. And that's pretty much it for this side of the house. Um, this is probably one of the least detailed rooms of the house, but yeah, I kinda, I'm pretty proud of how um, all of this turned out. And then we'll go over here through the entryway again, and we make it to the kitchen. And it's just a very kind of simple Minecraft kitchen. You got the furnaces with that on there to make it look like a stove top, and a little hand towel, and your sink. And you got the classic Minecraft fridge, only it's not made out of iron blocks like a classic fridge would be, and there's no button on the side, but, you know, it's still... Kind of going with the same design. And then we got a little sitting area here with a bunch of candles all over the table and some chairs to sit in. And once again, the um, chain and rod lights. And um, this room has a pretty decent view of the um, uh, glass mosaic window type thing. And we have a little stairway up here. This was going to be a lot better of a stairway, but I just kind of ran out of room and didn't want to block the window from being seen from the kitchen area. But we go up the stairs here, and we have a little lounge room. You have seating over here, which I was going to put one of those tables here, but I felt like that would be a bit too cluttered. And we have some more end rod lights just kind of sitting here because I needed something to put here without looking too bland. And we have the chain end rod ceiling lights again. And we have over here a little pool table. Um, this is a design that a lot of people use for pool tables. It just uses signs and carpets because here on Java Edition, the signs stick up far enough to do this. You can't do this design on Bedrock Edition. So yeah. And then a the little kind of sitting area where you'll sit and watch somebody do their move on pool and then you'll get up and switch places. Yeah. Um, and then a nice big window to kind of look out at the world. Um, you can see Dog Dog over there in the main area and the dragon. And then you go through here and you've got a little bathroom. And this room isn't too detailed, I could have done a bit more to it, but um, I guess now that I think of it, or think of it, I could have put a candle here, that would look nice. But there are some things that I can go around and do after the build's done, I don't have to just leave it like this. 
<clears throat> and it's probably not the best idea to have a wooden floor in a bathroom, because, you know, if urine gets on the floor, then that just soaks in. But yeah, um, so just a little bathroom, have, you know, the light once again. And then the bedroom. And you got a nice little carpet here, and a bunch of windows, the Enrod chain lights, and a nice big bed. And this was going to be a bigger bed, but it just looked ugly in the room. It was going to have, like, the poles going up, and... You know, just be a really fancy bed, but I just kind of did this for now. Well, not for now, but I did this. And it's got a little shelf space for a water bottle or alarm clock or something, or I guess your phone to charge. I don't know how many people use regular alarm clocks anymore. But yeah, and I'm kind of happy with this carpet design too, because I mixed wool and um, clay powder together to kind of give it more texture and then some actual carpet to raise it up a bit and make it look more 3D. But yeah, um, that is the entire house. So, um, there's definitely more that I could have done, like I could have hung some paintings here on these walls and everything like that, and kind of just stuff that I didn't really think about until I started recording and just saw all of this. But yeah, um, I'm definitely happy with this build. I think it's one of the better houses that I've ever built in Minecraft. I, th I think it looks good, and I think this might be my favorite room, just because of how much there is going on. So yeah, I kind of like how the red works with the dark wood colors too. But yeah, so we'll go on back on the outside, and I'll do another kind of fly around of the house a bit. And you kind of see, I could have done some like air conditioning units on top and stuff like that but didn't really go with that um and this house is kind of based off of if you've ever seen like those shipping container homes uh that was kind of one of the ideas behind the design of this house um because i think those look kind of cool and this does kind of look like just a bunch of shipping containers stacked up around each other but yeah um so that is the house um, I don't think I showed all the way back here where the bushes completely wrap around. But yeah, so hopefully you guys uh, like the build. I really like it. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. We'll just go ahead and plop down this right here. Kind of make it look like it's a... Wait, do I put... Okay, I put that on top. There we go. Abstract house, and I got rid of my sign, apparently. So, where are the signs? There they are. So this is what, build number... I think this is build number 7, right? We're on 7. I oh, know, I've been recording this episode for, like, a full week now, so I can't remember. I think this is the last thing we did. Yeah, that was the 6th build, so this is the 7th build. Okay. So we're getting close to the end of the season, too, so... Yeah. <laughs> Only got few more episodes left so seventh build there we go it is complete so anyway um yeah hopefully you guys like the build and hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of geno's building challenge um so thank you all for watching hopefully you enjoyed and i will see you in the next video goodbye